Hi everybody, I'm John. And I'm Wendy. And this is Living, Living Our Dash. Dash. So, Wendy's going to get into our Dash and what that whole uh, saying means. So a lot of people out there already know, but go ahead and tell everybody what Living Our Dash is. Okay, so Living Our Dash is, um, it's a poem that was read at somebody's funeral that basically talks about your birthday and the, the day that you pass. Um, and then that dash in between is, is the life that you have. Um, and then how you spend that time is uh, living your dash. And so when we were tossing around ideas for our channel, um, that just kind of resonated with both of us that we've lived uh, mostly a work live life where work was our focus and we wanted to kind of turn things around and live more for a purpose and live our lives instead of exist and so we decided that living our dash was going to be the name of our channel but if you ever see us out on the road in our fifth wheel on the back of it you will see living our dash and underneath that it will also say no regerts the regerts is not a spelling error this is what we were thinking of beforehand and it just kind of stuck so it's kind of an insider thing it's a little humor um, but we want to live our dash with no regrets or regrets or regrets so to give you a little bit of background about us um, we both grew up in the Northwest in Spokane Washington after high school I joined the Air Force in um, where I spent 22 years we started out stationed in California, and then we moved to Germany, where we did a little bit of traveling. I'd say Wendy did more traveling than I did, uh, just because my duty schedule didn't really permit. Uh, but Wendy and our daughter uh, traveled, shoot, quite a quite a bit of places uh, while we were stationed there. So that was great. Then we moved back to the states, and we were stationed in uh, Wyoming, Cheyenne. The only the exciting thing there at the time was Frontier Days, which happens once a year. So, not being happy living there, we decided I was going to go remote, so I spent a year in South Korea. And then my follow-on after Korea was uh, McCord Air Force Base, which is back in Washington State. So, which was a good thing for us, because um, my first 15 years of my career was a security policeman slash security forces because it did ch uh, change names during that time frame and then in 2001 actually right before 9-11 I dropped my paperwork to retrain where I was later selected um, to become a loadmaster flying on C-17s absolutely loved my career both career fields were good like anything it's gonna have its ups and downs uh, but it's all about how you take advantage of the situation um, and granted when I became a loadmaster I did see a whole lot more of the world and I saw Afghanistan and Iraq more than anybody really want to uh, but I actually got to go on a mission which actually took me completely around the circumference of the, of the globe so that was a pretty exciting trip. Is that the one with Donald Rumsfeld? No. But so that's me kind of in a nutshell. Um, so I'll let Wendy kind of introduce herself more. Well, I, I was there for the 22 years. I sometimes like to say that we were in the Air Force because as a, a military spouse, you're very much um, in the mix, let's say. We do have a beautiful daughter that um, we adore who is now herself in the Air Force followed in her daddy's footsteps and her husband is also in the Air Force and they have two amazing sons, um, Charlie and Skylar, who we absolutely adore. And um, so she was my main focus and I've kind of had different jobs all over the, the world, let's say, because we've kind of traveled all over um, and just kind of here and there. Um, most of my jobs were working with the YMCA um, but of course not all of them and uh, yeah we've been married for 35 years this year in June uh, got married when we were 19 so you do the math um, <coughs> we're actually uh, 
in our fifth wheel, and we are sitting at the FAM camp in Seymour Johnson uh, Air Force Base, uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. So that's where um, our daughter, son-in-law, and her family are at right now. So they live on base, so we're only a couple minutes away. Uh, we get to see the, the grandsons uh, almost as much as we want, but we try to keep that family separation so they can um, have their family time. Um, and to be honest, we, we need our time, just the two of us too. We've, you know, she's been out of the house for so long that it's, we, we've been us, the two of us for so long that you, you know, you get used to that and we need that just as much as they do. Yep. So we actually started our trip um, kind of mid June, wasn't it? June 18th. June 18th. So um, after Wendy stopped working at the Y up in Spokane, then we started working our way to South. I don't know why I want to do South Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Like it's spent a little bit of time in South Carolina just staging. But anyway. Um, so we, we didn't rush to get here because uh, you'll find a lot of people that they're just rush, rush, rush to get, get to where they're going. We did take our time. We stopped at places like Mount Rushmore. Um, Badlands. The Badlands. Wind so, Cave. But Wind Cave was closed. The elevator was broken. So who knew? So the big thing is, is we want to try to demonstrate what our channel means by living our dash. So if we're just dashing off to get to the next place or to the next thing, we're not truly living. So we want to take advantage of uh, experiencing everything we can. So as you, as we said, we've been kind of all over the world, um, and we haven't. We've done a little bit of traveling, especially West Coast. So we, that's kind of where we spent the first part of uh, my career, and we grew up there. So we've been to Seattle. We've been places in California, but. <clears throat> Um, being overseas, we got to see the, the old history. Beautiful. There's so much more over there to go see. I would love to do that. But we figured it's time to come in back and start seeing our own country before we get to where we can't travel anymore. Um, and then try to instill a little bit of that uh, exploration spirit in others. So that we're not looking to, you know, make this channel like a lot of people want to try to get monetized um it, it will eventually if we get enough views but that's not the goal and that's not the purpose our purpose is to share places to go and share them with you and hopefully inspire others to go out and live their dash as well so um we do have a partner in crime it is three of us um, we have our dog, Kayona. She's a Hawaii dog. We got her um, when we lived in Hawaii. And so she's been with us, gosh, she's uh, going to be 11? Yep. I think she's going to be 11 in uh, January. But um, So you'll hear her squeaking a ball, chewing, shaking her head, just hanging out. Um, you'll see her around. We're probably not going to introduce her right now because she's very busy chewing on her bone. So... Uh, so just so you know that we you you that's probably what you're hearing if you're hearing funny noises down below. So um, one of the things that we wanted to preface is that we, like John said, we're not here to make a million dollars doing this. We want to have fun. We want to share our experiences and hopefully encourage others to do the same. To just get out there, regardless of your your time frame, even if it's just a day trip or a weekend, just get out, go do. Don't, don't waste your dash because I feel like um, God has blessed us with that opportunity to live our lives with purpose and uh, we don't always know what our purpose is and I'm not saying that our purpose is to travel by any means but it's definitely worth the trip and we've been able to already go and see and do a lot of things that we never thought we would have the opportunity to do because we just lived in the Pacific Northwest and is so far away from so many places anywhere in the rest of the country and so I, I feel like having that opportunity is definitely a blessing um, from God and I don't want to waste that yep so, um, so right now we're gonna be in North Carolina for a while but we will be taking trips here and there 
Um, we're actually in a great location that we can just get in the into the Jeep and just go so we don't have to take that view. It's like this is our staging area uh, until we decide to move somewhere else or we're going to take a trip. So, um, and we do have a few trips coming up in the next three months. So we've got some farther excursions than just a day or a weekend trip. So we're looking forward looking forward to that adventure. Yep. So you're going to start seeing some videos popping up under our channels because we've already uh, compiled and Wendy's probably the best editor so we'll hopefully work together doing it but don't know when that's going to be but the big thing is if you want to stay in, in, um, in tune to what we're doing the big thing like everybody says is you want to like, you want to subscribe and hit notifications. Uh, big thing notifications so you know when we upload that next video and see where we've gone. Um, and of course, always feel free to comment, but keep the comments cordial. Because um, <laughs> if, they're, if they're not, we're not going to respond to that. Right. We're fully aware of our flaws. We're fully aware of our, our age and our physique. Oh, laundry. Laundry's ready. <laughs> RV life. Um, and so we, we're fully aware of our flaws. We don't need them pointed out. Um, we, we're, we're doing this for positive, um, purposes and reasons and if we're going to be continuing to do this we want to have fun doing it and just having people point out the negatives is not what we'd like so please make sure that your comments are positive uplifting friendly kind and you know as my grandma used to say if you don't have anything nice to say just don't say anything at all just keep scrolling yep so a lot of it's just so uh, family and friends back home can see what we're doing and follow our travels uh, but we also want to bring others in. Uh, we do follow quite a few people on YouTube that are RVers, full-timers. So we're actually full-timers right now, and I'm not hating it. Um, it's not going to be about RV maintenance, although there might be some things that come up. There will uh, be at least one video currently. Of RV maintenance? N not necessarily maintenance, but a, a situation that we had. Oh. Which one? The electric. Oh, the electric. Yes. yes. So, yeah. If you have questions, <laughs> feel free. But we will share a little bit here and there that are good tips. There's so many people out there that already have great tips. Um, I worked for our RV dealer prior to us make, starting our journey. Uh, so I have a good understanding of how RVs work. Um, so, but if I don't know, I definitely have great people to reach out to. And if not, there's probably somebody's already done a video out there that'll help you uh, figure out what you need to do. But again, if I can drink, uh, steer you in the direction you need to go, please make a comment. Um, so again, if you are wanting to follow our channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then we you'll know when we upload another video and you can just keep track of our travels. So until then, keep living your dash with no regards. Till next time. Bye-bye.